This is Afro Vibes Radio Houston. I'm gonna look around to give somebody a run. Oh, 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 oh. Check one two one two one two. That's right, ladies and gentlemen. Good afternoon, world. Good afternoon, Houston. Good afternoon, America. Good afternoon, Africa. Good afternoon, all my Caribbean people. My name's Evan Moose. What you on the Tea Club today? And I got Justin, 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 Justin Godo. What's up, Justin? What's up? That's right. That's right. We're in the building today. That's right. And we're not leaving until Justin Godo sings something for us. That's right. Tea Club in effect. That's right. Afrovibes Radio. Shout out to not just okay our sponsors. That's right. DJ Omer, that's right, world's biggest, baddest female DJ in the building today. Omer, what's up, mommy? What's up, what's up with you? You're looking sexy, by oh, the way. Thank you, thank you. Mm-mm, Soleil, Soleil, that's right. <laughs> what's up? That's right, Nia Soul Singer, that's right. These are my co hosts today, Omu, Soleil, Soleil, and that's right, the man of the hour, the man of the mission, that's right. He goes by the name of Justin Godot. Jesus Christ, man. <laughs> Justin Godot, what's up? How are you feeling today? Oh, man, I'm feeling great. That's right, welcome to the Tea Club, Daddy. Let me swear you in, that's right. Ladies and gentlemen, that's right, please, cups up, pinkies out. It's a tradition, Justin. Oh, okay. Justin Cato, that's right. Neo, soul, R&B, soul singer, that's right, blues singer too? Blues, reggae. Blues, reggae? Do you, s- jazz? That's right, man's on a mission. Do you solemnly swear, Justin, to spill the whole tea? Nothing but the tea, so help you tea? Jeez! Let, 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 let go. That's right, ladies and gentlemen, let me start off. That's right, Justin Godot. This one is Cognac and Women. You know that Cognac and Women? Fire! Get on the ground. This show is sponsored by DQ Hooker. Not just okay, that's right, Alpha Minds Radio. And Justin Godot, that's right. Stay ready, that's right. February 14th, album release party, that's right, Floyd. Let's get a show started. That's right, Justin Cadell. Welcome to the Tea Club, sir. How you feeling today, sir? Feeling great, man. Feeling great. Welcome, man. welcome, welcome. That's right. I see. Um, obviously, you're here because you just released a brand new album entitled Flawed. Yes, sir. That's right. So we are really excited about it. That's right. We're gonna play some of it. That's right. But let everybody know that right now you can pick up the brand new Justin Cadell album. That's right, Flawed. You can pick it up on iTunes. Everywhere. Spotify. It's everywhere. everywhere. That's everywhere. right. Everywhere. That's right. It's not at your mommy's right. shop. Yeah, yeah. Is that the barber shop too? It's everywhere. That's right. Make sure you pick up that Justin Godot. And that's right. If you want to hear Justin Godot on plug, that's right. February 14th. That's right. Stay tuned to Alpha Vice Radio. Album release party for Flawed. That's right. On Valentine's Day. All my single ladies. That's right. All my fellas looking to get hooked up. Make sure you tune in. That's right. Flawed is on a mission. That's right. So, Justin, what type of music would you consider yourself? I would say R&B, R&B soul. Uh, I do a little reggae as well, though. Yeah. I usually always have some type of reggae vibes on my album, on my mixtape, but uh, mostly R&B, R&B, so, yeah. It's genius, isn't it? And this is your second project, third project, the first? My third project. Your third yeah. project. Yeah, I have <laughs> one project called The Hookmaster. Uh, I have another one that's on iTunes, on all streaming services right now, called Young, Red, and Gifted, and then Flaw dropped yesterday, so. Congratulations. Yeah, congratulations to that. Jesus. Do you like the vibes? So, uh, I'm Caribbean. I'm, I'm Trini by association. Okay. Yeah. Right. Shout out to Trini. Yeah, yeah, yeah. My, 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 my sisters, which are, I call them my sisters, they're really my cousins. So my mom has a twin sister, right? Mm-hmm. And her husband is from Trinidad. And I grew up living with him for the most part in my life. So, so living with him. In Trinidad or just no, with no, 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 no. In, with a them, in a Trinidad okay. home yeah. in Texas. Okay. Right? So I'm from Baytown. Baytown is like Little Caribbean. I don't know if you're familiar with Baytown. But like, Baytown is like Little Caribbean. Everybody 
damn everybody in Baytown okay. is from Caribbean. So I need to find. I need to move over to Baytown. Yeah. So you're familiar with the jerk chicken and the, you know the oh, curry yeah. goat. Oh, that's sorry, I'm thinking. No! Oh, yeah. Fire! Yeah. Hey, that's curry. Yeah, that's screw chicken. I found up in Gaza. Jesus Christ, <laughs> in it. So when did the project come out? Uh, yesterday. 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 Yeah, how's, yeah, how's, yeah, the, how's the how's the reception been? Oh, man, it's been great. It's been great, man. I've been getting phone calls. Uh, man, social media has been going crazy. Uh, my little cousin called me, told me. Hey, we're gonna do the record route and break the internet, man. Yeah. So, we're working on breaking the internet right now. It's definitely, definitely. Yeah. Yeah, your, your voice reminds me, you know, kind of like a, a, a Barry White, you know, yeah. Yeah. smooth, authentic. I heard Tucker. I think John Legend. I heard that too. Yeah, like very, like, soulful and smooth, like, and you still have your raspy, yeah, it's very, mm, mm. like, silky. Authentic. Yes. I like Penny Dropper voice. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, ladies, la definitely. Uh, by the way, you can swear on the radio, so okay, I'm not okay, sure. Okay, good. Yeah, yeah, we're not controlled by FCC. Yeah. So the album, you know, like what well, you know, one of my favorite tracks is obviously, you know, uh, I like the cognac and women because it takes it back to it takes it back to the S and you remind me of like uh the seventies vibe. You know, when uh, Al Green used to sing, you know, so I have that, you know, like I felt that that was that's missing in the music industry. Right. And did you get that a lot that people compare yeah. you to like all the classic singers like Al Green? They always say I have the, the old soul, you know. Yeah. Uh, it's always like that old feel. And it's crazy that you mentioned Al Green, man. I think Al Green's greatest hit was like my first tape that I owned. You know what mm -hmm. I mean? So, uh, you know, I actually listen to Al Green all the time. You know, so. What are some of your other influences in addition uh, to Al Green? Al Green, Marvin Gaye, I mean, Jay-Z, yeah. Tupac, you know, mm -hmm. uh, Nas. Like, I mean, I listen to rap. I rap as well, so. Yeah. yeah so, you rap? Yeah, I rap. I rap a little bit too. Oh, my God. This <laughs> man's on mission. He's a rapper too? Yeah, man. I do a little bit of everything. Yeah. That's amazing. So, uh, yeah, I just love music, man. I love music. I, I listen to country music. I listen to it. I, mean, I listen to all types of things. So. That's amazing. So what would you say your biggest um, inspiration is behind this recent album, Flawed? What, what uh, been I think Flawed is my baby. Yeah. You know? uh, it's kind of just, you know, we're we're flawed. We're all flawed. You know? mm -hmm. We're people. So I think it's people's music. It's real people's music. Mm -hmm. um, just telling the story of life and how we make mistakes and you know, how we grow and how we do better. Yeah, so. and I feel the, term, the term flawed is really catchy. It's like, they want to know more. So what more particular to you, like flawed? What, how does it appeal to you? Like, how does it describe you? I haven't been perfect, you know. Uh, I've made mistakes, I've, uh, but I've, you know, I've grown. Mm -hmm. I've grown, I've gotten older. Like, for instance, I used to go by red, right? Mm -hmm. uh, I changed. You said know, red? Red, right. What is that? Red, uh, red Fox. Red, red was like my, that was my, I oh, used to go by red. To go okay. by red, yeah. So uh, I feel like I've, I've grown out of that, mm -hmm. you know. I mean, people still call me red. Of course, they'll always call me red. But as far as music, music wise, I wanted to change and do a whole new rebranding because mm -hmm. I'm, I'm growing. I'm growing mm -hmm. up. You know what I mean? Yeah. So uh, I, I go on my government name. That's the good one, you know. Yeah. And it's, it's who I am. So. Yeah. Let's get into this track, guys. This is flawed right here. Good shit. I'm back. Come on. I'm in a town for so, I'm a lot of time, been a lot of time, I can't tell, I guess I need a time to grow, choose when we do the highs and lows, I'm a liar, I'm a bitch, it's just to get out of this road, this one's flawed, brand new album, shit! I'm in a hard car, hard breaker, day to day, it's got to change, so now I'm flawed, baby, I can't expect you to stick around, no, no I'm still trying to figure it out, out. I'm flawed, That's right, you want the album, make sure you pick it up This one right now is Ghetto Justin Cato Ski Stay at home. 
with the other two. Never back down from a fist fight. Not afraid to tell a nigga get his shit right. We got the album, that's right, on all platforms. That's right, Justin. Your lyrics. Your message. That's right. Who writes your lyrics, bro? Who oh, writes? Man, Who's I'm your writer? writer? Who's the ghostwriter? No, I ain't no ghostwriter. Yeah. <laughs> I'm a really? ghostwriter. No, no, sir. I write everything, every lyric. I'm really passionate about your message and what you say and how you actually deliver it. Like, I could tell that your message and your delivery is straight from the heart. It's authentic. And then obviously with your raspy and your smooth, you know, soulful, blueful. Shit, is that blue? Blueful is a word, eh? Blues voice. Blues, yeah. Yeah, it's, it's necessary. Yeah. You know, as, as I'm listening to this album, it reminds me of like that movie, Dead Presidents. Have you seen that movie? Yeah. Their presidents. Have you listened to the album, the soundtrack? The soundtrack is like is, is it's is like the whole album sounds like the soundtrack. The soundtrack is, you know, no rap, you know, and the R&B is authentic. It's not it's not um, you know, it's not it's not filled with gimmicks and you know like it's it's not talking. You're talking about sex, but I can tell it's a real man talking about sex. Yeah, I mean, what what's been you know what's been like your you know creative energy behind you know making this album like what did it take you know life oh. experience man just things i've been through things i've seen things i've seen other people do you know some of it may be something that i've, I've witnessed other other people do you know and mm -hmm. i write about it tell the stories I tell the stories yeah, mm -hmm. yeah so you consider yourself a storyteller definitely yeah definitely. very interesting yeah. so what was the, what was the, what was the premonition behind ghetto uh man because i love that song by the way ghetto is oh, just yeah. <laughs> you know, like, I mean, you know, I've, I've dealt, dealt with some ghetto girls, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out to all the ghetto girls out there. Yeah. We still love you. Uh, now, what makes them ghetto? Uh, what, ma what makes them ghetto? Uh, in, in your description, I want to hear this. Twerking on the IG. Are there attitudes? Twerking is ghetto. No, no, you're not ghetto. Okay. You wish you were ghetto. ghetto. No. <laughs> Let me add in a note though. Let's say, okay, so ghetto isn't technically a negative Thing. Right. Like it's so often it's looked at as negatively, but there's a lot of beauty that's in the ghetto that yeah. people like that. that you know people dig up mm -hmm. and like put it mainstream and stuff like the ghetto has a lot of beautiful elements. So yeah. in terms of attitudes, like okay, you being a little ghetto, but yeah. like you know, like and the song the song describes that though. Yeah, you know the song is actually say I I know she's ghetto, I know she's ghetto, but I love her anyway. You mm -hmm. know what I mean? You know, she's like concrete and rose petals. So the yeah. roughness is what concrete you're, what you're describing. Yeah. That's concrete right. And rose Gentlemen, petals. make sure you pick up this album. That's why you can get okay. a lot of lyrics. You know, I can walk okay. up to a girl yeah. and say, "Look, you remind me of a concrete. <laughs> you remind me of a rose petal trapped in concrete. You know, mm -hmm. smooth, poetic. authentic. Yeah. You know, okay. you write poetry, Justin. Mm -hmm. uh, I have before. Yeah. So it's uh, been a while, but I have. Dude, before. your music is poetry. Like that whole description, just the ghetto alone, like. Yeah, it's, it's like like Tupac, you know, the rose that grew from the concrete. You know? Yeah. So uh, So when did you start? Like when did you know that oh right, you know what I'm gonna dedicate my life to singing? Man, in the fifth grade I had a choir teacher who uh put me on stage and made me sing all I want for Christmas is my two front teeth. <laughs> <laughs> my so two front so teeth? Cute. Yeah, so I've been performing <laughs> I've been performing and being a damn fool since I was a kid. So mm -hmm. Yeah, that's what that's what it's been. So. It's natural. Yeah, it's, it's natural. I think about, you know, once I graduated high school, actually in high school, I was more making music too. But once I graduated high school, uh, I got with a collective group called uh, Faith and Fam. It's actually this chain here. Faith and Fam. Faith and Fam. Uh, yeah. yeah, so we, uh, just a bunch of us from Baytown, Eastside, you know, got together and we're making music and performing and, you know, opening up for pretty much everybody in Houston. That's who nice. was pretty popular. Uh, Shout out to I was Faith performing and Fam. everywhere. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Faith and Fam. That's awesome. I really like that, you know. What's been the ladies' response? Because, you know, like, you know, I mean, obviously the guys, you know, we can tell, like, this, this is a real man, you know, this is a man's man. But for the ladies' perspective, you know, hearing your voice, you know, I'm sure, you know, like, Omu said, yeah, panty drop out. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, man, the women are loving the album. They, 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 they love it, you know. I've been getting, man, I'm talking about great responses from everybody. You know, women are loving the album. I mean, they, I mean and it's crazy because they love the, uh, Good girls do bad things. That's what I was going to ask. What's their favorite? Yeah, and the uh, sacred place. Mm -hmm. Yeah, those two have been crazy. Yeah, yeah so, you know, like, for all you gentlemen, that's right. You got your girlfriend, that's right. No need to put on the Sade. You can put on some. That's right, Justin Gadoo. This one is. Good girls do bad things. Yeah. That's right, Soleil. I know you're a good girl doing bad things. Hey. Oh, oh you a good flawed. girl doing bad things? <laughs> 
Yeah. What bad things are we talking about, though, anyway? Because the only thing that comes to my mind is sex. Family drama. I made love to a lot of different women. Maybe you can see good girls from Fire. 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 Not once, not one If you let me move The way she do though These girls can be deceiving And they all have different reasons I've seen the girl, I've seen the girl Bad days, I've seen the girl It's Jessica there, that's why right. good girls doing nasty things <laughs> That's right, good girls doing bad things just to get it. I'll sing good girls. Yeah. That's how they get nasty. <laughs> just to get it, that's right, album on releasing it. It's title floor, this one is in a stage. He's been home six months from a six-year gig Thankful for another chance to be there for his kids Been looking for a gig, but had nothing seems to stick Feels defeated, patience getting dead oh, Try not to go back to his old ways But he knows he can get it like in old days Took a chance and got caught in the break his mother's heart Ends ain't eating up and he just wants to do his part Cause that he'll front him what he needs Ain't no friend who just wants to see me Justin, where you learn how to sing, bro? Where? Where? I mean, I know you said in fifth grade, but was there someone who taught you how to sing? Or like, yeah, look, come I, on. Nah, I think I, I was kind of born able to sing. And you did go to church and sing or something? I sang in church. Uh, I was in, I, I've been in choir, like, since I was in the junior high, well, yeah, junior high, elementary. I mean, we had, like, music class, and then I was in choir, and junior high choir, and uh, high school, you know, so. And I guess I got a little trainer from that, too. Yeah. I mean, I, I, was, I was born singing. You know, they used to tell me to shut up, but I was singing in the shower. It's, it's awesome. It's awesome. I know, like, you you were obviously um, on, I think you took a break from music for a while. Yeah, yeah. You know, what, 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 what happened there? Like, why, why did you take um, a break? Like, why, why are you holding back? Why did you hold back and then life. drop floor on our head? That's yeah, right. Like, man, uh, I, I, dropped, I dropped the uh, Young Red and Gifted. I ended up moving to L.A., man. I was on a television show in 2008 called... Reality David, Show. Reality Show, yeah. Uh, oh, called what? David Talbot Stays Black. Okay. Yeah, so I was on that. It was so on a TV BET one. special. So. TV One. TV One. TV One. But, okay. you know, TV One wasn't really popular at that time. Still not crazy popular, but you know I think people. Hey, but you on TV? It's still right? there. Like TV right, one right. is still on your still, resume. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I did that. Um, should I end up moving to LA for four years? Uh, kind of worked a little television here and there. You did know? you get any sticky down in LA? Any poo tying in LA? Man, you know, <laughs> I'm, I'm glad I have an understanding wife. But, uh, yes. <laughs> Shout to Justin Gaddell's wife. Hey, wife. <laughs> yeah, uh, Justin didn't have no poo tying in LA. <laughs> now she knows. You know, she knows I was a wild boy. Man. So what happened from TV One? Uh, moved so to LA. Moved to LA, man. Stayed in LA for four years. Uh, ended up moving back home. I broke my leg. Mm -hmm. How'd you break your leg? Slap boxing. Why oh, you Drunk. going to a fight into something Drunk. with somebody? Me and one of my homeboys, man, come home from the club, uh, playing around, slap boxing. He grabs me. I don't know why he grabbed me. He lifted slap you up. Boxing, grabbed me, and we both hit the ground, and we. We got up, my leg was broken. Oh. So he was like, man. they were like, man, we need to take you to the doctor. And I was like, nah, I'm good. Did I'm you like, walk on it? That's the adrenaline. So yeah, I kind of, you know, limped on it. They kind of helped me upstairs. Oh, and I was wow. like, nah, I'm good. And I was like, man, I play basketball. I, you know, twist my ankle all the time. Mm -hmm. Like, nah, you need to go, bro. <laughs> so it was the bone sticking out. It's turning purple and everything. Like, yeah, it was purple, blue, and green. And, mm -hmm. They were like, bro, you gotta go to the doctor. Yeah. Yeah, so I eventually went and it was broken. I, uh, till this day, I still have a rod in my leg and screws. Yeah, wow. it's bad. Yeah. Wow. Off of slap, slap boxing. boxing. Please, don't slap boxing. Exactly. It's drunk slap boxing. Drunk slap boxing. Drunk slap boxing. Yeah, yeah, that yeah. adds to it. <laughs> yeah, so yeah, how yeah. long have you been um, doing music as a whole? Like, pursuing it, pursuing uh, music? Some 37 now. Uh, 
I've been since I was like 18. Oh, okay. Yeah, so I've been, I mean, I was, I was performing a lot when mm -hmm. I was younger. You know? uh, I performed in the Roxy back in the day when the Roxy was high. In LA? No, here. Oh, okay. Yeah. It was a Roxy, I think. Yeah, yeah Roxy, uh, I mean, back I opened up Slim Thug, Big Mo. I was in there for yeah, a, lot of, a lot of folks, man. That's amazing. So, when was the moment that you knew that this was for you and that you could be successful in it? Uh, probably high school time, yeah. Okay. I, I knew that I wanted to do music. Yeah. yeah. And how's the reception been in Houston, you know, because Houston has a lot of great talented artists, but sometimes they feel, you know, the, the feedback I've gotten from them is that sometimes they feel that it's, you know, they need to move out to LA, they need to move to New York in order to pursue a career in music. Man, Houston can be tricky, I think, man. It, it's, yeah. I think it's clickish at times. But, uh, Everybody says that. It but, is. It yeah. is. But, but you know what? One thing I, I used to I used to be like, man, the DJs, I want to do But you know what I've learned? Just push. Yeah. If you keep pushing, eventually somebody's going to have to open the door. If you keep pushing, you make enough noise, mm -hmm. people hear you, you start getting a following, they have to message. They have to. You know what yeah. I mean? And if they don't, man, you take the, like Toby. You don't hear Toby on the radio. You know, yeah. That's told, true. You know, yeah. told me on the radio, but I was in LA a couple months ago, and I went to his show in LA. He's doing a whole tour. You know what mm, I mean? Yeah. So I, I feel like I want to take take that route. Yeah. You know, shout out to Reeky too, man. Uh, Big Reeks, DJ Big Reeks. Uh, shout out to DJ Big Reeks. Yeah, I went Hollywood. Cut a check, Big Reeks. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, like, out of all of your memories or all of your experiences over the course of your music, your musicianship, yeah. um, what has been your most like favorite like experience? Dropping this Florida album. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. This but, is this is this has been a long time coming. Mm -hmm. uh, what does this album mean to you? Oh man, it means a lot. It's uh, I, it's, I'm putting my life on wax, you know. Yeah. Yeah. So I put my life out there. Uh, the, the crazy thing about being an artist, man, you're vulnerable, you know. For you're, sure. You're vulnerable. That's the toughest perception. thing. Uh, Believe it or not, I have crazy stage fright. Right? Yeah, you do because of, you didn't look like you were scared. And when I saw you at the House of Blues in the Foundation Room, yeah. talking about once good I girls doing stage, that. Look at us. Once I get up there, I'm good, man. But yeah, uh, but it's because you're vulnerable, you know. People, For sure. people can criticize you at any time. Mm -hmm. And one thing I had to learn was don't just don't care. You know? Get up there and do what you do. Everybody's not gonna like your music. Uh, if you don't like my music, you should have bad taste in music. <laughs> that's true. Yeah. And if you don't like his music, you've got excellent taste. That's right, that's right. That's yeah, that's the way music. I look at it, man. If you don't like my music, hey, everybody's not gonna like it. Yeah. I just figure you have bad taste in music. Yeah. It is what it is. That's different. So obviously, since you're obviously taken, that's right. So. So all my single ladies just as already taken. You sing your wife in the shower or what? Do you sing your wife? Oh yeah. Do you like see, you're a good girl? <laughs> do bad things. Oh yeah. Let's oh yeah. Yeah. Nasty, nasty. <laughs> yeah, she she was an inspiration for the song. Yes, wife, <laughs> come through. Which so, one? Sacred place? Sacred place, come on. Alright now. Shout out wifey. Sacred place, Justin. Good day, that's right, G-O-U-D-E-A-U. There's a storm on your way, rain against the window pane. We should lay in bed all day. The kids are gone, no one's at home but you and me. Take off all your clothes, let's meditate. I wanna see you naked as you're born day. Let's right. Okay. Touch yeah. yourself. Pretend you're all alone. Touch yourself. Like no one. Ladies, touch yourself. Oh, no, no, no. Right before you climax, put it on my face. Oh, that's right. Before you climax, put it on my face. Before you climax, put it on his face. Wifey, come on. Sissy! Oh, baby. Sing it. Remix with Celine. That's right. What 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 part do you love that she tastes? Which part are you talking about? Is it the neck? Is it the skin? Yeah. Shake it up, got 
That's right, Justin, let me hear you. I wanna spend the day inside your sacred way. That's right, in between your legs. Elated <laughs> by the way I love the way you take. Mmm, tastes like summer. <laughs> Shakes away, we've been flowing like a river, baby. Okay. Drenched in sweat, I've been working overtime. That's right. Back it up, got you falling out the bed. It's that, that's right, that man Justin get on floor. This is a sacred place. Just you flip you over, let me spread your legs. Spread the legs. Keep you new positions, you didn't know he's dead. What? You'll be watching later, then make another day. It's your turn, it's your turn. That's right. I'm not playing that whole thing. Get that album. That's right. <laughs> Justin, you brought us obviously Floored T-shirt. You brought us Cognac and Women. Yes. That's right. Cognac and Women Floored. That's right. Cognac and Women's a track right off the album. That's right. Uh, fellas, don't steal it. Justin has a pattern to that. And also yeah. Floored too. That's right. Thank you so much for the merchandise. Thank you. In it. That's right. This was a new track. That's right. Justin knows she don't need you. She's a boss. Yeah. 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 Shout out to the boss ladies. It's all for you. Yeah. Yeah. Stranger than calling shots Self-sufficient, misindependent Give a damn about what you got She's fine and she knows it Four ladies only She shows it Oh, one so late too She's a king to soul And that's right, Mrs. Godot too She don't need you Don't need nobody who's only that to show She's got her own thing I call that bitch And have it like she wants She ain't worried about your money my god in it that's right justin yes. oh my god fire, fire, jesus fire. so what about the other radio stations all those other fake radio stations <laughs> what are they doing there they sleeping on this that's right, Afro Vibes, we don't sleep in it. Right. We don't sleep, Afro Vibes, that's right. 93.7, 97.9, you're sleeping on Justin Godot. We're not Stay sleeping up. in it. That's Stay right. Woke. Stay woke. Did they sleep on your album too, Soleil? They sleep right now. They sleep? They gonna wake up, though. They gonna wake up. Please, who cares if they wake up? Keep on sleeping. <laughs> that's right, we're playing the album. Hey, I love that. I gotta say, my wife, uh, that she don't need you, she's yes. actually one of the people who inspired that. Uh, she owns a... Uh, Real estate brokerage. That's why right. shout out to the women's yeah. making Brady, money. Brady real estate group. I had to, to plug them in. Yes. What's the name of the real estate group? Braden Real Estate. Shout out to Braden Real Estate Group. That's right. We're buying houses this year. We're coming to see you. If you want to buy a house in Houston, Dallas, Texas, San Antonio, call Braden. That's why right. spell that for me, please. B R A D E N. Braden. That's right. Braden Real Estate. Braden Real Estate Group, that's right, pick them up, pick them up, that's right, get your house over, you, your second, your, your second house, we can get that from Braden. Yes, of course, of course. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Braden, Braden, yeah. Hey, we invested, man, 2020, yes. we invested, man. Get you we, some property. Yeah, we're getting some property, man, we're, we're living. Yeah. So how is it for y'all, like, hardworking, corporate, and you uh, traveling, doing music, how does that go together? So, man, I'm, I'm working, I'm, tra I'm working, too. So yeah, I have, you're, a, you're I have a nine to five, okay. I'm doing music, I'm doing everything. And your friend yourself, you're you're supporting myself, this whole yeah. thing. I'm, I'm, wow, yeah, I'm doing it all. So how do I, how do y'all keep it pushing? Because we can clearly still hear the intimacy in your music towards her, the love for her. So how do y'all keep that pushing? It's, it's awesome, man. We, we yeah. also we, we you know we, we make family time. We have two kids, you know, uh, eight year old cool. boy, uh, Grayson and Harper, my three year old baby. I saw that. Three-year-old, that's, 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 that's not a baby. Yeah, 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 she's awesome. She's awesome. <laughs> she grown. No, she's grown. She's, she's grown. Awesome. <laughs> yeah, that's my baby. But, uh, but yeah, man, we, uh, you know, we, we, we make time for everything. That's nice. You, know, you we, have we, to. We have, we have our separate time. You know, she, she does her thing. I do mm -hmm. my thing. And we come together and do the family thing. You know? A so, good balance. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's good. Yeah, she's going, I think she's going to Vegas in another week or so for a real estate convention. Me and the boys are going to Cuba. Uh, yeah. Next month, um, we're probably gonna take a trip to Africa, maybe together as a family. Yeah. When you go to Cuba, please bring me no. back. All I ask for you, just bring me back some cohibas, please. I got you, bro. I got please, you. I got you. please bring me back cohibas. I know it's gonna be a right after your album release party on February 14th, Valentine's Day. Yes, sir. Sh yes, sir. Can we make that happen? That's right. Let's take a quick break. We'll be back with Justin Godot. This one is sometimes I lie. I don't know what that means, but.
I don't lie. Yeah, man. Like, man, don't cheat, right? Black man. You said, let me be your protector. Oh, no, no, no. Yes. Oh, no, no, no. Yeah. Oh, no, no, no. Let's go. Check, check, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. That's right, this is Heaven Moves on Alpha Minds Radio. This is the T Club. Shout out to Not Just Okay. That's right, DQ Hooker and Justin Goodow. That's right. Justin, we're back in the building today. Hey, Justin, I heard you can sing, Daddy. Do you want to give us a little bit of a cappella in it? Yeah, we're going to sing. Okay. What do you want to sing? I'm going to sing. Who are we dedicating this to? Dedicate this one, all the single ladies. A, Let's dedicate this to all the single ladies on Valentine's Day. Let's do it. Let's That's do it. right. It's a song this is the voice of Valentine's Day. This is the voice of Justin Godot. That's right. This is a Valentine's Day special in advance. You know, pre Valentine Day. <laughs> ski ski album release party floored. Justin Gado coming up. That's right. Kiki. That's right. Tune into Alpha Vice Radio. Stay tuned on Justin's Instagram too. And mine as well. I'm going to post it. Justin, let me know when you're ready, Daddy. Ready. Do your thing. <laughs> Pull up. Yeah. Pull up. Let's do it. I don't know if you've been told. But girl, you got an old soul. See, J.J. Evans would say you're dynamite. Oh, baby, you reflect the glow of life. I know you hear the southern boy in me. My roots run deeper than an old tree. I'm making history like marches on D.C. Like your first time hearing Sugar Hill on MTV. Mm. So just replay me like an old song. Cause 30 years from now, I'll still be going strong, oh. Yeah. Just relax, I'll make it worth your while. Let him know. Sweet thing, I'll bring you freedom like a flower child. Mm. See, I've been known to make a woman smile. Like good cuisine, I have them come from miles out. I'm the truth, baby, without a doubt. Yeah. Spreading so much black love, I'd make a path to pride. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. What? Yeah. This is Justin Gado, that's why this one is Superman. She Caribbean roots in it. I'll stop the villain then when them try my shut the town. See the distress signal in my ears will hear the sound. Too much about my good walls around you, I come to knock them down. Let me be your protector, I'm afraid. Treat you like you're the only girl I do my thing. Treat you like you're the only reason this world's been. I'll protect you from all the bad, my dear girlfriend. Let me be your superman from this galaxy. Darling, me and these man with not the same. Trouble come and we'll fly away. Use all my powers to keep you safe. Curves in all the right places. Yeah, I tempted to touch round your mind. He's gonna weak your mind. Crypt tonight, but still, I can't give you up. There's no question, your hero's real. Let me show you how they call me. The man, I steal your heart. Tell me how you feel. Oh, let me be your protector. Treat you like you're the only girl I do That's right, pick up the album, that's right, right now it's still so sweet. That Caribbean yeah. stuff, yeah. in it? Yeah. Hey, yeah. hey, yeah. hey, yeah. hey, showing you versatility yeah. over there. Yeah. That's right, yeah. I know we were talking before you got into yeah. the interview, into the tea club, you were telling me that you're going to be working on um, uh, a Caribbean album. Yes, yes, I really want to start working on a, a, a reggae, Apple Vibes type, type album. Please, yes. please do. 
Because I love that song. I appreciate it. And yes. I love reggae, Afro vibes, Caribbean. We need that. That's, you know, that's some good. people say for the culture. We need that. That's for our the roots. culture. That's our roots, man. Sure, sure. I have another song, man, but it's, it's still under Red Soul Music um, called uh, One Girl. Mm -hmm. That's uh, that's on iTunes and you know, all the uh, streaming services we go to. But it's, it's a pretty dope. Uh, Is it Afrobeat or something? It's a, it's a reggae song. Also. Yeah. But, uh, What's the name of it again? Uh, uh, one, one Girl. One Girl. Uh, okay. Yeah. Dope. Can you sing it for us? A little, a little snippet. Oh, uh, yeah. We can do that. Can, uh, <laughs> Just a little, a little, see, little let's taste. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Hold on, real quick, real quick, real quick, real quick, real quick. So we have. So Justin. it's called, it's called "Can't Get Enough." Okay. One girl. Uh, is it? Is it? Can't get enough, or is it one girl? Can't get enough. Look up. Can't, can't get, get enough. enough. Yeah. And then what, what's it red, on? Uh, red Soul. It's under Red Soul Music. So I need to delete that. Is it on uh, mm -hmm. SoundCloud mm -hmm. or something? Yeah, uh, yeah, you know. yeah mm -hmm. Justin Godot. What's your, tell us your tagline again, your social media. It's Justin Godot Music. All right. Justin Godot Music. Justin, how do you spell that? Oh, Justin, J-U-S-T-I-N, G-O-U-D-E-A-U, M-U-S-I-C. You're Creole. I am Creole. All right now. And you said you have Trini family. I have Trini family. Yeah, so I'm Trinidad by association. Yeah. yeah. See your roots. I said my, my sister's uh, Trinidadian there. You know. Shout out to the sisters. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> so that would be what's Big up to the Caribbean community, man, in Houston, man. It's, uh, it's always love for the Caribbean community. Yeah. Um, I actually have a listening party Friday uh, for Self Compassion, right before Self Compassion. So, Where is that? Um, it's going to be at the, I'm going to tell you right now, the ballroom. Uh, this is the Grand Affairs Ballroom, 8.30 to 10 o'clock on, on Friday. That's on Bissonette. On Bissonette. And coming about about what? Come through yes. Houston? Yeah, yeah, so we're going to do a uh, silent headphone listening party. Oh, nice. Right before Sun Compassion. Sun Compassion is a big event um, that goes on once a month here in the reggae world, you know what I mean? Yeah, and uh, is, that, is that the lane that you're looking to obviously attack? I'm just gonna do what feels right, man. Not, yeah. not necessarily, uh, but uh, whatever feels right. I may have some some of the smooth cuts on there. We may have some dance hall on there. We may do some soca. I don't know. All of the above. Yeah, all of the above. Yeah, I'd like to hear more than that. I mean, don't get me wrong. This album is fire. You know, yeah. trust me. You know, um, you know. What's one of your favorite tracks from your last album, from the Young Red and Giffy? Uh, in love with the freak. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Yeah, in love with a freak. I think I have that one. In love, oh, in love with a freak. Yeah, in love with a freak. Yeah. Jesus. Some thanks to you. Uh huh. Shit. Tony up, Tony up, Tony. It's Justin Godot in love with a freak over that young red and young red and gifted. Leg out, leg out, leg out. That's right, so they loving it. That's right, I can't play everything. Pick up the album. That's right, pick up all the albums. Young, red, and gifted, as well as flawed. Jesus, it's, it's just a good dope. It's yeah. great music. It's fire music. It the music is grounded. It's grounded. It's like it's uh, it's it's, it's authentic. Yes, yeah, it's a gem. Mm -hmm. Like that's that's beautiful. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, I, you know anyone that sings like this? I don't know anyone that sings like this. No, not, no, not in this day and age. Yeah. No, yeah. You know, I don't know anyone that sings like this. Not not in this day and age, you know. Like is that is it was that on purpose or this is how your heart feels? That's how my heart feels. Like, I don't I don't uh I don't try to make songs like anything. Mm -hmm. I just do what I feel. I do what I like. Uh, Come from your she, was, she was asking me uh, how I come up with a song, mm -hmm. and 
basically, I may write a song, I'll have melodies for it, I'll present it to the producer, I'll sing it for him, he'll make something for me. Or he may send me a track, but I may write to the I may write to the track, you know. Just, let, me, just let me ask you, do you feel like your experience in the music industry over the course of time um, has made you more comfortable just being vulnerable and singing, okay, this is what I have to the producer, like when you're about to record, like Definitely. Yeah, yeah. definitely. Uh, were you more shy in the beginning? Or reserved? No, not necessarily, no. no when, when it comes to creating, I'm I'm it's 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 just the performing and putting it out there part mm -hmm. is where the vulnerability comes. But as far as creating, mm -hmm. I, I've never been shy to create. Mm -hmm. I, you know, it is, it's what I do. And then just sing it right there for other people. Yeah, I have no, no problem. Yeah. Yeah. But when the lights, but when the lights come on, and it's like yeah, what, what, just what's I get on stage? Nobody nobody knows I have stage fright. Like uh -huh. you know, they can't tell. Yeah. Now we know. That's good. But now you know. You know? <laughs> I mean, but we still can't tell. Like yeah. it's still real and raw. You know. Yeah. 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 You know, it's just because again you're vulnerable to what people think and to, to their perception of what's going on and what you do. Yeah. But you have to just block it out and yeah. not care. And you know, push good. through. Somebody's always gonna have something to say. Mm -hmm. But it, whether it's good, whether it's bad, somebody has something to say. So you choose to focus on the positive. Right. What what people say that, that positively helps you grow more. Right, right. That's okay. amazing. And, and I'm good with constructive criticism, of course. Yeah. Know? Uh, we we always going to get better. We're going to grow, right? Mm -hmm. um, so I'm okay with constructive criticism. It's just, you know, some folks just like to hate. Yeah. And uh, I don't see a bunch of hate, you know, but it's like, you know, it's out there. Yeah, how yeah. do you see hate with this voice? Yeah, I don't worry yeah. about it, you know. Because yeah, it's, it's real like, music. Yeah. yeah, and it's coming from the soul. It's true. Yeah. It's authentic. One thing that I like is that your voice and the beats that you choose complement each other. Yeah. You know, speaking from a DJ's perspective, it's hard to like. You can have a good good vocals, but if the beat is not there, right, yeah, right. it's not really much we can do with it. So, what is your take on like how important it is to have that right sound, picking the right sound and all that? So I don't, I don't, I don't think I have a. Uh, like I don't know what I would, like want at first. You know, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I think it's when I hear it, I know. Yeah. You know what I mean? So it's not like, oh, all right, I, I need a, I need to make a beat like this. You know? yeah. yeah. It's kind of like when I hear it, or a lot of times, like I said, I have melodies in my head. Mm -hmm. So I'll sing something, and I'll, you know, like one of the guys who produced the album. There's two guys who produced the album. I need to, I need to shout them out, too. Sure. Uh, Davion Box and Evelyn Brown. All right? Yeah. Um, Great job. That was yeah. beautiful. So Davion did 10 of the tracks. Edwin did two of the tracks. Uh, Edwin did um, Sometimes I Lie. And good girls do bad things, and Davion did the rest of it. Hmm. But I can go to them, sing a song, and they can create, you know. So they usually like thing. nail it on the first try. Yeah, they're, they're, yeah, these dudes are awesome. How long have y'all been working together to have that? So I, I've, I've this, just this year, like really? just just within like a year's year's time, you know. Mm -hmm. but it took me about a year to create this album, mm -hmm. and that's you know working full time. Mm -hmm. uh, Take care of family, yeah, take care of yeah. kids. Whole nine, yeah, Handling whole your business. Handling my business. Yeah. Right. So, okay. uh, but these guys are amazing musicians. You know, they can play whatever. You, you play something for them, they can pick it up. Mm -hmm. And run know? with it. Yeah, run with it. Yeah. yeah. They're, they're amazing musicians. So, Davion's done. We work with Maya. Uh, Shout out to Maya, by the way. Yes. Devon, like he's, you know, he, he's official. How did you meet them? How did you meet them? Yeah. So, Edwin uh, ended up playing a show for me a couple years ago. Uh, somebody went to me with him. And he played the keys on one of my shows for like New Year's, I think it was. Mm -hmm. And then Davion, um, Davion was working with this guy, I think his name was Harvey, back in the day. I think he used to play for the Raiders or whatever. So I met him through this girl named Brandy Holmes, who also sings. She's a makeup artist in Houston. Shout out Brandy. But uh, she's from Baytown as well. We went to high school together. So she was singing. They were trying to push her, I guess, and they needed somebody to come help write. Mm -hmm. So I ended up meeting Davion through Brandy with the dude Harvey, yeah, mm -hmm. the whole thing. But this is like years ago. Networking. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, just networking. Like this was years and years ago. So finally, you know, I got to a point where I can pay for an album and, you know, my finances are kind of somewhat together. Uh, I'm not balling anything. I'm broke <laughs> out here. You know, so I'm trying no, to... No, you don't broke. Time. That's right. But, uh, you're working. I'm working, yeah, baby. I'm working. Pushing. No, but, uh, uh, you're definitely not broke. But we, we're working, man. But, uh, so yeah, man. So, I, you know, I met him. He kept telling me, you need to be produced, man. Like, you don't just need tracks, mm -hmm. you know? You need to be produced. Like, yeah. you need to get in here, we need to create. So uh, it was it's to a, a point where I could, you know, I could pay for the album and get it done. So we uh, we got together, man, and we just been working. And it's just chemistry. It's the, both of them, you know, both of these guys are just great. Yeah. They're great to work with, easy to work with, you know? Mm -hmm. And they can make whatever you need. 
So we're gonna hear them on the on your um your upcoming album as well. Yes. yes. Yeah. Uh, probably gonna start working on a new project pretty soon just to have something ready. Once this kind of dies down, we'll do like a EP, like yeah, seven track EP. This is this is good music. Tell us yeah. where we can find it again so and what can, we search. So you can search Justin Gido. Um, the album is called Flawed. It's on all streaming platforms, everything and everywhere. Uh, iTunes, Spotify, Apple Music, Amazon, uh, whole nine. I'll have hard copies next week. You can contact me on yes. Instagram if I need to mail it to you. <laughs> all right. Cash at me. I take all types everything. of everything. Yeah. Man's a hustler. Hustler, baby. Yeah, that's right. That's right. That's right. Hey, that's good. We need that. So what would you advise, you know, like all these young Houston artists who are coming out, you know, especially people who want to sing like R&B or soul or blues? Because right now I think, you know, the wave is, oh yeah, let me just do some rap. Oh, yeah, trap music. Yeah, that's one thing about Houston, man. Rap. I don't, I think the market's wide open for us, for mm -hmm. R&B singers, you know. And there's some dope R&B singers. Keith Jacobs, you know. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, Daenerys, uh, you know, Daenerys. Uh, uh, it's, a, it's a bunch of bunch of dope singers out here, you know what mm -hmm. I mean? And I think we have a we have a big big market, you know. So we just need to get out there and push, man. And, and my advice to the guys coming up is be persistent. Yeah. You know, be persistent. People may tell you no, just keep working, man. Keep pushing again. Like I said before, you may, you know, in Houston it's clicking, mm -hmm. but once you keep pushing, you build a brand. Keep building that brand. Somebody's gonna open the door for you. And those clicks will come together. Right. It's the unit. You gotta impose yourself on yeah. that. That's right. That's yeah. right. That's right. Once hey. you start making a name yeah. for yourself, somebody's gonna they're gonna listen. Yeah. Is that how you feel too, Soleil? It's clickish. Yeah, well, yeah, I feel like Houston can be clickish and I say that because like we rock with our people, you know, like when we know that yeah. that somebody got our back, like okay, you you might I was just saying, you my nigga forever. You know what I'm talking about? Like, I'm your nigga. You my nigga forever. Like, you my dog. Like, yeah. you Ruff, my Ruff. family. Ruff. Yeah, like, we ride or die. Yeah, like, we ride or die. So, in that sense, it can be very cliquish. Um, but that's not to say that cliques can come together as right. well. Because Houston is about love and support. Right. And we like realness. Like, Houston... You have you have some fake stuff in Houston, but Houston people can see through that. Yeah. So like when you see through that and you get the realness from people, it's like okay, I rock with you. Like right. I support your music, I support your movement. Um, it's like okay, I might not like this song, but I do like this song, and I'm gonna push this song. You know, like yeah. that's how Houston is in my experience. Like we rock with our people. You know. I think the biggest thing, man, is again is to be about your hustle. Yeah. Uh, like I said, I used to be like, man, DJs on film, etc. But I think it's more of the work ethic. Mm -hmm. You know, I think if you go out there and you're really working and they see that you're working, shout, hey, shout out Keati too, because Keati mm -hmm. has been showing me some love. Yeah. Shout out to that's like DJ Keati, 97.9, yeah, yeah. the box. Cheap! Yeah. <laughs> Keati has been showing me some love, man. Uh, I went to one of his events the other day, and uh, he has been showing me some love. And uh, I think he, he's trying to do something for up and coming artists as well. So. That's dope, and that's yeah. good. We need that. Um, children are the future, so you gotta, you gotta get them like, and help them push them. Yeah, that's why I brought him on the tea club. You know, it's only fire on the tea club. Fire! Shishi! Shishi! Skr, skr! It's necessary. It's necessary. So, album obviously dropped last, uh, yesterday. Yesterday. Flawed. Yeah. And then where can we get merchandise from? Because yes. So uh, contact me on Instagram. That's probably the Jesus, the grab is. Where is that? The grab is popping, y'all. Instagram and that's J U S T I N G O U D A U D E A U music. That's right. That's right. You can find the man on the gram in it. And that's right, ladies. He's already taken. I know you like that red bone. That's right. <laughs> but the man's already taken. That's right. But you can buy his album though. That's right. <laughs> you can you buy his album and buy his merchandise. You can support him. Yeah, and he, uh, he's giving away one of his gold chains too. Yeah, uh, <laughs> <laughs> like, what? And his gold and his gold iPhone watch too. Hey, hey, hey gold's going oh, up, man. Gold, hey. man. Gold's, gold's crazy right now. It's a good investment, I'm telling you. Yeah. It's, it's more than just change, man. It's an investment. So do you think it'll take you like a year to work on this? Um, are you sure that you're coming out with a, like a reggae Caribbean album next? That, that's what I want to do. Uh, I'd like to, but I will see. We'll see what, what the next thing's going to be. Where it goes. Just wherever it feels. Wherever mm -hmm. it feels like. Even if it's not a whole 
project, there's definitely definitely going to be some reggae vibes in there. So, yeah, some Caribbean vibes. Any Latin vibes since obviously you're going to Cuba? Hey, man, we can do all that. Yo, soy el cantante. Bilingual. Bro, man, you can you, you, you drop, you can drop a salsa <laughs> album, bro. Like, the Latin people, you know, that Houston's oh, a good market support. for that, it too. Yeah. Oh, my God. They support. Now, that I can't write, but if we can get somebody else to write it, I'll say You're going to Cuba, bro. You're going to Cuba, so, like... That network. Get you a How long are you going to be in Cuba? Uh, five days. Vacation? You can do a lot in five days. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Phil Del Castro is no longer there, so... You, you can do a lot fast. in five days. So, why Cuba for your vacation? Why not, you know, Dominican Republic? Uh, I mean, I've been there too. I've been, I've been to Dominican Republic, I've been to Cuba, I've been to Cuba, I've been to Colombia, I've been to Belize. What made you want to go back to Cuba this time? Just the, the, the history there. The mm -hmm. history, the old cars. It's like going back in time, man. You know, it's just it's a cool place to be. And I need more cigars, too. <laughs> oh, you should, yeah, uh, Justin told me that, you know, he's a cigar head. Yeah, I mean, yeah sorry. I'm, I'm a, uh, oh, you smoke cigars? No. Well, we got to get you into that. What about you, Soleil? No. I tried it, but I couldn't it's hang. I couldn't yeah, hang. I was yeah, it's not. You're for not me. supposed to inhale it. Well, I, I know, and they told me that. I could not. It was hard. <laughs> yeah, don't I inhale. haven't mastered that. Yeah. Mm -mm. Don't inhale. We'll smoke <laughs> some cigars, bro. If you bring some back, it's definitely. I'll definitely bring some back. You should add that, you know, cigars, cognac, and women. Yeah. Cigars, cognac, and women. Right. Yeah. Boss things. Boss teams. Remix. Remix. Cold, cold. What about mixtape, bro? Now, because I can see you and Soleil Soleil working on a mixtape. Because I think, you know, like, a, a lot of artists, you know, like, when you look at, like, people like Lil Wayne, you know, Future, you know, they drop LPs, you yeah. know, yeah. but they always have, you know, like, within the year, they always drop, like, you know, two, three mixtapes so that they can stay on the people there. And I think that's mm -hmm. what I'm missing in, like, some of these artists. Like, you guys work so hard, drop a mixtape, yeah. you know, like, dr you know, drop more mixtapes on these people and stuff like that, you know? Just put your music out there. You know, and especially like with people like like if I like Soleil Soleil, or you know like maybe just like you know I was talking to like uh, you know Keith Jacobs and you know Tate Powers and I was saying like you know like a mixtape for like the living room would be yeah. really really nice oh, like a, co yeah, a collage yeah. of all the artists and then psh, put them on even if they're doing covers and stuff is necessary. So you, know? you performed at the living room, right? How was your experience there? Oh, it was wonderful. Yeah, yeah I had performed in a while too, mm -hmm. so uh, it really worked out like. Uh, I got great responses from that too, you know. Mm -hmm. um, that's where I met, met Heaven at too. Yeah. You know? so, uh, that's right. Yeah, yeah, heaven was, in the building. Yeah, it, was, it was awesome. I could see the people vibing with me when I was mm -hmm. performing, you know. Uh, I had a bunch of people who came out to see me. I talked about when we performing. I had a bunch of people who came out to see me that day. Uh, yeah, so, oh man, I, I can't wait to do it again. You know? yeah. yeah. I can't wait to do it. We'll go there tomorrow. I think I'm going to go up there tomorrow. Tomorrow. Mm -hmm. Go check it out. That's right. We'll be there in the building. That's right. She. <laughs> Shout out to DJ Tate Powers, that's yes. right, and also Keith Jacobs, and also The Living Room, and yes. Houston House of Blues, yes. The Foundation Room, too. That's right. We don't have too much time, we've got to go. So, Justin, any words of advice for the audience listening? This is, obviously, this is Alpha Vibes Radio, this is a tea club. This interview will be held and will be heard in over 189 countries. That's right, if you didn't know, we're international, just not local. International, that's international business. Ski, ski. Hey. Uh, be bold, man. Success favors the bold. You know, mm -hmm. that's something I had to learn myself. Was just to be bold, uh, be persistent, and not care what everybody thinks. Just do me. You heard it from the main man. His name is Justin Cadeau. That's right. Shout out to Soleil Soleil. That's right. DJ Omu. That's right. DQ Hookah. This is Afro Vibes Radio. You can pick up this interview on Afro Vibes Radio and also the Tea Club. That's right. Shout out to the main man, Justin Cadeau. Yeah. Thank you so much for coming to the Tea Club. I hope you had a good Thank time. Congratulations on Flawed. Yeah. Everywhere. Check it out. Everything. Flawed is the new album. Everything. That's right. And stay tuned for that's right, the album release party February 14th, Justin Godot. <laughs> Too much about my bill walls around you, I come to nothing.